Blah, 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 blah. No! No! Good car. There we go. Let's go, baby. Let's get you out of this fucking joint. You may be thinking, Adam, what are you doing? Well, you should have watched the last video, then you'd know. But today, we're doing a modification to my BMW M3. Let's go, baby! Yeah, we've got Finn too. We've got Finn too. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. <laughs> I bought this BMW E92 M3 Limited Edition, baby, seven years ago. And boy, it's been one hell of a ride. So after doing a ton of major work and major modifications on the M3, I then tried to hit up the Nürburgring and had even more issues. That is quite grumpy, isn't it? But hope is not lost. We have done everything needed now, which brings us to today. Our first mod in the last couple of years. I cannot wait to get started. So shall I show you what it is? Ta-da! <laughs> this is an E92 GT4 carbon front lip. I bought this from Mental Performance, built with a three instead of an E. And uh, we need to figure out how it goes on. I tried to line it up and I realized that the uh, brake, brake duct scoops smash into the under tray. So uh, we'll figure that out once we get to it. But I am very excited. Yes, it's only taken me seven whole years to decide which front lip I was getting for the M3. But I finally settled on the GT4 replica front lip. Me and the dog today are down the unit. We're going to get stuck in to this job that shouldn't be too difficult. So let's jump in and have some fun. Before we get started, I have just done a very, very simple little tiny thing for the car. I have grabbed the NOCO Genius battery charger can i spin this and i've chucked that on charge as you can see the battery has very little charge in it which is not very good at all so now it's time for me to start taking apart the front of the car but to do that i think i need to take the front wheels off even though i've had the e92 for seven years now it still does not feel real that it's mine i still every time i go down and look at it and just get to drive it i still just feel so so grateful and today getting to finally jack it up in my unit with my tools and with my dog just getting stuck in it felt absolutely amazing i cannot wait to see what this front lip looks like on the car okay my mum's just turned up back from her holiday and she's taking the dog for a little walk which is amazing because it means we can go get a drink <laughs> i am so thirsty but funnily enough the only car that is currently not up in the air or i'm in, like that like this is not mot or anything is this so do we risk taking the chevy to the garage and it not starting <laughs> i say yes she started first time <laughs> get around the chevy i don't think there's any point wearing a seatbelt in this vehicle um you're gonna fold like a fucking tuna can in yeah while we're still on our bit of land, I'm going to show you something, right? Watch the steering wheel. I'm still going in a straight line. Still going in a straight line. <laughs> what a fun little treat to start the, start the video. <laughs> yes, fuck yeah, this is a gangster. What the fuel's like? It's got very low fuel. Oh, what a beast. All oh, right, let's go back and actually uh, do some work on the car. I've done so far absolutely nothing. Please start. Please start. First time, baby. First time. 64 year old. She's a goer, baby. She's a goer. Time to get back to work, boys. Wow, look at that. They have rusted so bad and the car has barely been used. Oh my God. Oh my God. KW's next, I reckon. What the fuck? What does this side look like? Oh, this side's not as bad. Wow, that's crazy. Anyway, there's the uh, drop links that I had fitted, which is uh, stop the noise, which is great. But wow, the other side's so bad. I might have to take them off. Give him a good old rush treatment, man. Damn. Right, boys, we're about to crack on. 
I needed to get this out of the Chev. Dad, I rang Dad. I was like, have you got a radio down here? I want to listen to the football because we're going to miss the Arsenal game. Boo! Come on, the Arsenal. So I'm hoping that you'll pick me up better than the radio, obviously. But I'm going to be honest, being down here on my own is so boring. I didn't want to have to just sit down and knowing the football was on, I didn't want to like half ass this. So let's just crack on. You can listen to my football team win the league this season. So inside of this arch, there's a lot of little 8 mil bolts that I'm going to remove. There's already one missing there, which is kind of a concern. But So let me show you down here. Oh. To sit fucking fat ass down. So we've got all of, all of the nuts and bolts off, apart from this one up here that will not budge. I'm literally just going to snip the plastics. I'm just going to snip the plastics up here because fuck it, man, this is so stupid. Okay. That is one M3 arch liner out. Okay, wow. Okay, that's a weird looking. All right, I need to clean that out. Oh, fuck. So now we have one side done and I've just checked the battery is charged again. I actually need to put something else on charge and uh, it's probably not what you're expecting. So let's go get it. <laughs> yes. Come on, Pierre. Come on, Pierre. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, look at me remembering this is en français. God, the smell in this car is horrendous. Dude. I can't believe it. God, I did put a new battery in this. Where's the fucking, the bonnet thing in this bad boy? So we should hopefully get some juice. Come on, Pierre. I know you've got this in you, baby. Or not. You're green. I've got nothing. My man, my friend. Oh. We'll have to come over and get the battery out. We'll go back to Pierre in a little bit, but first we've got to get stuck into this M3 because I've been making excuses all day not to do this, so let's get back to it. Oh, well, there we go. Ta-da! So I just got the under tray out, which was once again only held in with two bolts. So I know the car's been apart a few times um, just for work I've had done on it, but I wonder if just the bolts have gone missing over time. But there's a few little rusty bits on here that I'd love to change. Eventually, I mean, that's not even like really tight, is it at all? Um, but overall, that was relatively easy to do to get that all off. I think all I have to do now is these uh, these bolts here, and then the bumper should hopefully just come off. So let's do that. Oh, that's not even attached. Okay, that's cool. What have I forgot to do here then? Is it still attached somewhere? Yeah, it is. Fuck. Why is it still attached at? Oh, it is attached. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Sell a tape on. What is that? That's odd. Cool. How very bizarre. So I'm not quite sure what this is. This is attached behind my number plate. Um, but it has got a part number, so I'm going to Google it and see what comes up. Let's have a look, I'll let you guys know. Right, need to have a little look. Like obviously look, I've hit some stuff, man. I'm not gonna lie, like I use this car. I know I haven't put a billion miles on it, but I really do use it. So let's find some detailing spray. Let's clean this bottom bit up before we put this, the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Front lip on, have a look. There we go, it's gonna have to sit level with that. Okay, there we go. Oh God, I just need to like, get some holes drilled, I reckon, boys. 
Okay, so how I think I'm gonna have to do this is lay it upside down <laughs> and then try and like place it in position, draw some of the initial holes to get it to line up. Obviously this is not OEM, so this is a replica. Still 700 quid. But there's no real fitting guides or anything, so I don't know whether I just need to like send it. Right guys, little update. Um, so I, I film on my phone nowadays and my battery, because I've been filming all day, is really, really low. So I've had it on charge while I've been trying to figure out what to do. Now, this is not correct. <laughs> um, it's made me really anxious. But what I've tried to do is put a couple of markers down to get this like in line. Now, I feel like if I can just get one bolted in, I can then sort the rest out. Now, I can't tell... <laughs> where the right position is for it. Um, I think it should be about there, but see, I'm very nervous to drill this because it's an M3 bumper in the mineral white. And now anybody that knows that, that's a very expensive color to replicate. <laughs> um, so if I fuck this up, this is gonna be bad. I think it needs to go there. If I can get the pen, I'm gonna draw another dot. I'm using a purple Sharpie. Now, if I can just get the two centre bolts to where I think it needs to go. I'm going to be honest, the fitment of this fucking thing is pretty crap. Especially for how much money I paid. Send the fucking drill, boys. So hopefully that will work. So I'm going to try and find a tape measure. And then um, make sure it's the same length each side. And then we'll drill that one. So let's try that. Right, for anybody that might even be trying to do this themselves, please bring a friend. This job was so insanely fiddly and so insanely difficult for me on my own. My own. You'll be out telling a second, look, the bald head is out. This is how stressed out I got. The hat got thrown across the, the workshop while I tried to figure out how this thing fits properly, especially on my own, trying to do it. It was so fiddly, so annoying, but this was mainly my fault. I think I even celebrated an Arsenal goal just then, so that was what we were cheering about was. Um, as you can see here, I didn't like the fitment on it. I was like, I definitely haven't fitted this right. I'm going to have to take it all off, drill more holes in this insanely expensive bumper, which I'm really not happy to do, but had to be done. Second time round, I think I got it sitting much, much better. I was kind of judging it off of where the brake ducts go in the little slot on the, on the bumper and that grill you'll see there. If you are going to do this yourself, pop that grill out. It makes it so much easier as I worked out later on in the me trying to do up all the bolts. There we go. It's out now. It is so much easier without that in there. Take that thing out. It's literally just punch it as hard as you can. It will come out and it's a pretty handy thing to know going forward. But overall, I managed to get it on. If anybody thinks that I, it, I've still got it sitting wrong, I'm open to changing it. It's got to come off again soon when I get the uh, protection plate for it. But putting it back together now, back to ready to jump back into the video. I have to say, fitment isn't amazing, but I guess it was never always going to be. You can see there, a bit of a gap still. But that is as good as I can get it on my own. So, uh, even if I'd have got that dead right, it's not rightly shaped, but fuck it. It's just good. It's in line on that side. Lovely. Let's see what it looks like on the car. Okay, I've got another problem. Uh, these are too long and they are hitting into whatever this is and that is actually connected to the vehicle So I don't really want to take that off. So uh, I need to I guess trim them down. So let's get that done Let's try to get scratching everything oh, is This is so difficult as well by the way I didn't do. Who knows? 
So I opted for old reliable. I went back to cable ties. The bolts were hitting on the bash bar thing and it was just driving me absolutely insane. It was getting really, really late in the day and I was just like, I just have to get this thing on. Cable ties have always done me really, really, really proud and uh, for the drift stuff. So I thought, hey, they work, why not? We've got to get this all off at some point anyway and put the, uh, the protection plate on. So this can do just for now. Getting the bumper on was an absolute nightmare. I had no fitting guys or anything to tell me how this works. I was really, really struggling. Well, after about two hours, I'm not even joking. This has been hell on earth. I've realized, where the fuck is it? This shit, I don't even know why. Like, this is like some styrofoam stuff that was holding like a bash bar or something on. I don't even know what it is, but a bumper support. I took that off and it went on straight away. And I think I've actually got the alignment of the bumper even better than what it was before. So I'm really happy of that. It looks fucking mint now on this side as well. Like, so good. So I'm so happy of that. Just got to chuck the arch liner back in, bolt it up. These are all the bolts from all of the underpinnings. I can't be bothered to put them back in. Tell me if I should another time. But this has taken so long. I just want to go home and have some food. <laughs> so we can do that another day. But right now, I just want to get this bolted up and finished. But fuck, it's looking good, man. Man, it looks so cool. I can't wait to see it on the floor. I'm going to redo that on the other side. And I'll catch you guys in a minute. I guess we are always chasing the end result, but I have to say it's been a long time since I've just been down in the garage doing work on my cars and I really enjoyed the journey today, having the radio on, getting to hang out with the dog and now getting to show you guys my first look at the M3 with its first bit of carbon fibre. Oh, <laughs> come on man. Oh, that looks absolutely fucking nuts, dude. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so happy! Oh, it looks so nice. Thin douche. <laughs> Today's been really tough, man. <laughs> but it's been so good. Lots of problem solving on the job. It's been absolutely amazing. I think I've even got the bumper fitment even better than it was before. Which I'm stoked about, by the way. The only downside is I haven't got the under trays on. Um, but I don't even know if they fit with this. So I need to figure some stuff out. I need to have a little look online, see what other people have done who have put this lip on this car. I know it's a popular one for it, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get some answers. But what do you guys think down below? I'm sorry I can't pull it outside and show you. <laughs> it's so dark. Um, it's taken way longer than I thought. I've just got to do the last couple of jobs now, tighten the wheels up and then um, tidy up a little bit, get Dad Chevy back in. But I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you'll hit subscribe. This has been so much fun being back in the garage again, working on my car, on one of my cars I don't even get, really get to enjoy. So uh, hopefully we can get a road trip in the diary for this very soon. So let me know where you'd take it, or where you'd like to see it, or anything. I don't know, like, I wanna just drive this car everywhere, especially now with the front lip. Oh! Let's also, in the comments, take bets on how long it's gonna last. <laughs> Anyway, I want to say thank you if you've made it right to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. And the Patreon and members of the YouTube channel, thank you so much. Uh, while I'm away, I'm going to be giving you little, little tiny videos updating while I'm out there. It's going to be a lot of fun seeing what I can see over there. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, get stuck into some more builds. We've got enough going on here now. And uh, I've kind of found my, my confidence again on the spanner. So I'm really looking forward to jumping into more. Right, I better start tidying up and going home and getting myself some dinner because I am starving. Thank you very much, guys. And if you leave a fat like on the video, check out 621.com. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Mwah.